Let's take question number 13. If 1101, 1201, 1301 and so on. So we have product of matrices is equal to 17801. Then the inverse of 1n01. So first we have to find the value of n. Then simply we have to find inverse. Now if you look at these matrices, it has a pattern. And what is that? Let's write down. Here when you multiply, you are going to get 1, 1 plus 2 plus 3 up to n minus 1, then 0 and 1. This is equal to given to you 1, 78, 0, 1. So this was the pattern actually, right? Now you can simply equate the all the elements so you are getting this summation is equal to 78 so we have n minus 1 into n upon 2 equals 78 that is n equals 13 so we got our matrix for which we have to find inverse therefore now we are looking for inverse of 1 13 0 1 now for 2 by 2 it's quite easy Simply we find 1 upon determinant A and determinant A is 1 here, right? 1 upon determinant A multiplied with a matrix which is formed in a such a fashion like these are interchanged and sign for these two is changed. So it is simply 1, 1, 0, minus 13. So let's see from the given options 1, minus 13, 0, 1 that is option 2 is the correct answer. So I'm sure this is clear. Let's move on to the next one. Let S equals theta. It is lying in the interval minus 2 pi to 2 pi closed, satisfying the equation 2 cos square theta plus 3 sin theta equals 0. Simple trigonometric equation. Then the sum of elements of S is. Let's solve this one. We can change this cos square theta into sin theta so that we get quadratic equation in terms of sin theta. So we write here 2 into 1 minus sin square theta plus 3 sin theta is equal to 0. So we have 2 sin square theta minus 3 sin theta minus 2 is equal to 0. Let's factorize by splitting middle term. We get 2 sin theta plus 1 multiplied with sin theta minus 2 is equal to 0. This is clear. Now, sin theta minus 2, it cannot be 0. So, we simply get the solution from here as sin theta is equal to minus half. Now, looking into the given interval, so we can simply get here the solution theta equals 2 pi minus pi by 6 pi plus pi by 6 then we have minus pi plus pi by 6 and minus pi by 6. So these are the four solutions in the given interval. This is clear. Now adding up these all four we can clearly see minus pi by 6 plus pi by 6 cancelled pi by 6 minus pi by 6 cancelled, pi minus pi cancelled. So what is the sum of all the solutions? It's simply 2 pi. So let's check from the given options. Correct answer is 2 pi that is option number 2. So I'm sure this is clear. Let's move on to question number 15. Let fx is 15 minus mod of x minus 10. Then the set of all values of x at which the function f of fx is not differentiable. Question is talking about non-differentiability. If you ask me about fx only, it's clear that it is not differentiable at 10, right? But the function is about f of fx. So let's go for this one. gx is equal to, let's write down 15 minus mod of x minus 10. So for x, you need to write again 15 minus mod of x minus 10 that's clear now this is the term for x minus 10 is also there so this is clear what i have done simply 15 minus x was there for x i replaced again fx 
minus 10 as it is. So, let us rewrite this term. So, we can see here g x is 15 minus modulus of 5 minus mod of x minus 10. Now, it is not a differentiable at when you have x minus 10 is equal to 0, 1. Second, when you have 5 minus mod of x minus 10 equals 0. This is clear. So, from here we can see that x is equal to 10 one case, x minus 10 equals plus minus 5 other cases. So, the possible values for x we obtain here simply minus 5 plus 10 that is 5, 10 from here, 15 from other one. So, 5, 10 and 15. So, correct answer is option number 4. So, let us mark and mention it as our answer. Let us move on to the next one. 